Before 16, he was here. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate everything. A popular guy and a great guy, great leader. Uh, the leaders of the West Side Conservative Club, Ernie. Where's Ernie? Ernie, thank you, Ernie. Fantastic. We had a lot of fun over the years, Ernie. And uh, Kim, Kim Schmidt, Kim, she's right there. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate it. Uh, the restaurant owner, I know, I'll tell you, you're doing a lot of business because they have cars parked all over the place outside. <laughs> Mike Wellin. Mike Wellin. <laughs> Joe and Jeanette Best, uh, longtime caucus goers, and they've been uh, fans of mine, and I've been fans of theirs. Hi, nice to talk to you the other day, too. It was very nice. Thank you both very much for being here. Thank you. I like that hat, too. It's great. It's very sharp. So I just wanted to thank just a small group, but we have a lot of representatives here. We've had a tremendous support. We have a vast majority of uh, the support and uh, really great leaders and have done a fantastic job in the state. But we've done something very special. You know, we got China to give you $28 billion for the farmers, right? $28 billion. In fact, I got a little carried away about three, four weeks ago, but it turned out to be, I think, right. I said, there's no way we lose Iowa. I got China to give them, for their farmers, $28 billion. And a lot of the people in this room, you got checks for hundreds of thousands of dollars because China was taking tremendous advantage of the farmer for a long time. And uh, we took a little advantage, and we got hundreds of billions of dollars uh, coming in from China. We gave the farmers $28 billion all over the country. That amounted to a lot of money per farmer. And a lot of you got it. I said, so there's no way I can lose Iowa. Let's see what happens. I don't think so. Uh, we'd, have to, uh, we'd have to do some really bad things to lose at this point, because we are. It's been amazing how far. I'm so great. It's the best polls we've ever had. Overall, nationwide, in Iowa, no matter where I go, it's the best polls, because they love the four years that we had. We had four fantastic years. We also got a uh, – we saved your ethanol world and your ethanol business, you, it was dead. And I came along and saved it. And as you know, uh, uh, Ron, as I call him, Ron de Sanctimonious for a reason. Yeah. But Ron, Ron uh, was totally against ethanol. So for those people that care about ethanol, and it's a big deal actually for your, uh, with respect to the corn and with respect to a lot of other things and with respect to jobs, it's a very big deal. So uh, that was something. And uh, very importantly, USMCA, we got rid of the worst trade deal in the history of our country. That was NAFTA. And we went to USMCA to Mexico and Canada. And, and you know, uh, when I made the deal, I, everybody said it couldn't be done. Believe it or not, you had to get it done through Congress. And they said there's no way they'll ever approve termination of NAFTA because they all have their little deals, right? And there's no way they'll ever do it. I got that done, and I got USMCA done. And the reason I know how good it is, because Mexico and Canada are trying to renegotiate the deal now. How about that? Isn't that nice for a change when you hear that? Because uh, every country takes advantage of the, the U.S. I mean, horrible, massive advantage. But uh, it's a little bit different. We have deals, and we've made deals. And frankly, we made a deal with China, where they're buying $50 billion worth of your product, and it was sort of interesting when I came into the deal, and I, I have to tell you, I don't talk about it much, the deal we made with China. is one of the greatest deals ever made. But once COVID came in, it was like nothing mattered as far as that's concerned. The relationship, I, as I just went from having a very good relationship to not having a good relationship at all, because what they did to the world was so horrible with whether it was mistake or not mistake. You know, people say it wasn't, and people say it was. Uh, but whether it was or not, what they did, the damage they've inflicted, probably $55 trillion worldwide, $55 trillion. And uh, what a horrible thing. So I don't even talk about the trade deal very much. But we did a deal with China where they're buying 50, think of it, $50 billion worth of product. And do you remember I said, uh, and the most loyal people were the farmers. They, they stuck with me all the way. I said, look, this is going to be painful because China doesn't want to make this deal. And you're going to have to, you know, live with it. And the far I would watch people being interviewed in Iowa, Nebraska, different places, and they'd say, they'd say, uh, you know, it's painful right now. I said, you're going to go through a little pain before I get this deal done, because you have to. That's the way it works. And uh, we should have gone through a little more pain, perhaps, over the last few days to get maybe a deal done. But uh, if you understand what I mean. But that's okay. 
it's okay. But I said, you're going to have to go through pain. And I'd see people interviewed. The president's right, and right now we suffer, but he's got to turn it around, and we did. And uh, they were doing 15, and that was going to be the deal. And I heard 15. I said to Sonny Perdue, the, uh, our, our agricultural uh, commissioner, secretary, he was a good man. I said, Sonny, what was the damage? What was the damage that was done? He said about $28 billion. Came back a week later. He said $28 billion in damage that China did to the farmer of the country, the farmers of our country. I said $28 billion. Well, we're going to get it back. We're going to get it back somehow. We got it back. And then I, I made a a deal with China and in beyond the 28 billion and I said uh, what's the number we want to get sir if you could get 15 billion I said well let's ask for 50 okay they said no we said 15 sir I said no I said 50 <laughs> yes and then I was told that the farmers will not be able to produce that much I said they're not going to be able to produce that much number one they're going to buy more land and they're going to buy bigger tractors remember that line more land and bigger tractors right and it happened you got to buy more land. Guys were, guys were going out there buying land, and they were buying bigger tractors. And even that wasn't enough. And you've done well, and you're still doing a little uh, – you're doing okay. You know, the remnants, it's the remnants, because they're killing you with, in Washington. They're hurting you very badly, and they're not enforcing the deal that I made. I'd, every day, every week, I would say, is China living up to the deal? Yes, sir. Because, you know, they're supposed to buy $50 billion. I say, is China living up to the deal? And they'd go, uh, they are, sir. And I would, I would be very tough when they weren't, you know, when they got a little bit slow in buying because they have Brazil and they have other places they can go. And uh, I kept them living up to it. But nobody in this administration is asking that question. I guarantee you, nobody's saying, how's China doing? Are they living up to their deal? I don't think so. But we've done a great job for Iowa, and Iowa's done a great job for me, and we've had uh, tremendous love here, and I mean, the guys I mentioned and other people in the room who have been friends of mine for a long time, and uh, we've really sort of grown up together in politics. And we had a tremendous four years, and we had a much more successful second election than our first election. In 2020, we got 12 million more votes. We got the most votes in the history of our country for a sitting president, okay? And that rarely happens. If you look back into the history books, usually in the second term, you get less votes. We got 12 million more votes than we got the first time. I mean, when you think of it, it's a number that's uh, unparalleled and never happened before. Nothing like that. But, uh, as an example, Barack Hussein Obama, Obama got substantially less votes in his second term, and he won. We got more votes than anybody's ever gotten, and we didn't win.